Hey guys, what's up? Edge of 3D. I'm Scott. Uh, real quick video here on installing heat set brass threaded inserts. So, get this threaded on here so I can kind of show you a couple things on here. And we'll use this here as a pointer. So these are the bomb standard on 0G Mercury 1. They're an M3 by 5 by 4 heat set, which means M3 threads, 5 millimeter external diameter, 4 millimeters in depth. And these in particular, I'll put a link to them from Fabrico as well as AliExpress. If you buy a Mercury 1 kit from Fabrico, this is what comes with the kit. They are uh, designed so that the, at the beginning of them down here there's a smaller shoulder and the idea behind that is when you print out your parts that is designed to perfectly fit in there basically to get the threaded insert started let me get that screw unthreaded out of it so you press that smaller part in there and it will set there and then you can take your soldering iron and press it down in. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. There's a couple of different tips. Don't worry, the soldering iron is off. If it's on, you don't want to touch it. It'll burn you. Obviously, it's very hot. Mine's adjustable. It goes anywhere from 200 degrees Celsius up to like 450 degrees. But this tool right here is specifically designed for these heat set inserts. They fit just perfectly on there, just like that. And then you can press them into your 3D printed part. If you don't have this, or you don't have a soldering iron that has an, a replaceable tip, where you can change that out, and you have to use a regular tip, you can use a pointed tip, just like this right here and it goes right down in the threaded insert just like that now if you got one that's a really skinny tip and the and it sticks out a long way from this end um, if you can grind that off um, you know that prevents that part here from melting into the plastic below the hole um, and if you don't, and you don't want to ruin a soldering iron, because you also use it for soldering iron, you can use it just like this. If you have one with a really fine tip like this, another way to do that is you can put one insert on there. See how far that sticks through? If I can get it to focus here. You can stick one insert on there and actually stack them and use a second one to push it down in there. The problem is it's got a lot of play to it and it it makes it a lot easier to get the insert in crooked. So I'm going to show you two different tips and the best way to do this. Now my soldering iron is adjustable so typically I run it at about 250 degrees for setting parts into ABS or actually any any plastic but 250 degrees works uh, for freedom units, we'll let it get up to temperature here. That's 485 degrees Fahrenheit, 257 degrees Celsius. So you get the part set into the hole like that. Take your soldering iron tip, hold it on there. Just put a little gentle pressure on it. And then as it heats up, you just push it down until it sets flush. There you go. That's all there is to it. Do a couple more here. Set them in there like that to get them started. Take the soldering iron, press it in there. Press down till it sets flush. Now, 
give me just a minute here I'll change out the tip on there and I'll show you doing it with the regular tip okay we're back I've got the tip changed out on the soldering iron sorry the camera doesn't like to focus on small objects but uh, there you go just a regular soldering tip this is kind of a broad tip it's got a fairly steep uh, angle to it we'll go ahead and get the temp uh, soldering iron back up to temperature again again mine set it 251. We'll let it come up to temperature until it gets close. I'll go ahead and get three of these ready to install. Just set them in there to get them started just like that. Uh, tip sticks out a little bit and these plates aren't real thick so I'm going to set that one on top of another one just so that it has room for the tip to pass through. But just like before, take the soldering iron, drop it in the heat set, just hold pressure on it. This will take just a little bit longer because there's not near as large a contact surface with the heat set. But just push them down until they set flush. Now, in case you have a soldering iron that's not adjustable, it'll probably run around somewhere between 430 and 450 Celsius. It's pretty typical for non-adjustable soldering irons. And I'll show you, that'll work just as well. We'll go ahead and throw three more in here. It just melts the plastic faster, gets the piece a little bit hotter. And just a word of caution, right after you set those and you pull the soldering iron away, those for a good 30 seconds are hot enough to still burn. So you don't want to touch them even after you set them in there until they get a chance to cool off. So iron set to 439 Celsius now. We'll go ahead and set three more of these just like before. goes in a little quicker. I got that one kind of crooked. You'll see they drop in faster. Now that one got stuck in the soldering iron. That's a problem. You don't want to grab it and just pull it off there. You want to use some kind of a tool to get a hold of them. And lift it off there like that. Don't want to get my finger on that one, so we'll turn it. And that one's stuck on there as well. That is one of the issues with using regular soldering tip. If you put too much pressure on it, it will get stuck on the tip of the soldering iron, and that creates a problem because now the hole's oversized and it won't. You won't be able to add another one to it. Now I'm going to purposely set this one crooked and show you a method that I use to straighten them out. So we're going to run it in there and it's set crooked. If you look at that, it's in there crooked. Here's what I do to correct that. Get a long M3 screw, get it ready, take and hold the soldering iron in there, get it good and hot, run the screw in just a couple of threads and then pull it straight, just like that. And then hold it there for just a minute until the plastic sets. There you go. Set in there straight. So there you go. That's how I set heat sets. Regular soldering iron tip. Specialized tip designed just for heat sets. 
I will throw a link in the video description to this soldering station. I purchased it off of Amazon. And the kit with some heat sets that comes with this tip right here. They are affiliate links. If you purchase it through the link in the video description, I do get a couple of cents for that. Hope you guys enjoy that. If you have any questions, let me know. Have any concerns, comment down below, right down here in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Enjoy your Mercury Ones. Peace out, guys.